place we like to gather around to sing. Stop on wine and talk shit. <clears throat> Today's guest is comedian and writer Richard Weinigel. I'm your announcer, Prospector Pete. And as always, we are joined by the Hooligans, the Jackie's Hole Trio. <laughs> Aren't they amazing? You'd rather listen to them than this scratchy ass voice, wouldn't you? But now sit back and relax. Pop open a can of something or other. Get ready to have some fun and Jackie. Oh! Hey, here's Jackie! It's Jackie's hole. It's Jackie's hole. It's Jackie's hole. It's Jackie's hole. Oh, yeah! It's Jackie's hole! Welcome, everybody, to Jackie's Hole. Welcome to the hole. Prospector Pete, you have a lot of energy. I sure do. Is that all the time? Is this side of the baseline, or did you drink a little too much uh, espresso this morning? I drank a lot of espresso, and I, when I sift for gold, I also drink the remnants of a, you know, it's. I feel like it's a recycling. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. God knows what's in them, but I like it. I'm Jackie Johnson, the host of Jackie's Hole. This is a new show, and the, the idea of it is, this is my hole. My hole is very personal. <laughs> when I say hole, what do I mean? Well, that was another reason I chose the name Jackie's Hole, because the word hole... It is a very funny, great word. It is a band. <laughs> Courtney Love was the front woman of Hole. But, but that's not why I chose it. I chose it because what do you think of when you hear the word Hole? I think of rabbit hole, which is when you do a deep dive into a subject. Maybe you lose yourself in a little bit. Then I think of black hole, which is, I was just Googling what a black hole is. Did you know some of them are the size of one atom? And then some of them are way larger than that. But, but, but you can't see a whole black hole. It's a secret. It's something mysterious. But then, of course, there's the watering hole, which is in the desert, a place where all the animals gather to relax, to unwind, to get their water, or to attack the innocent, which I love as a theme. And lastly, a oh, watering hole. May I ask you, like attacking the innocents as a theme? <laughs> Did I hear that right? You heard that right, Pete. Now, I wouldn't think too much of it if you know what's good for you. Let me keep moving. I like not thinking. Lastly, (laughs) lastly, the watering hole is a place like a bar where everybody knows your name, where you come and you hang out with the simpaticos and unwind and relax. And and so whatever the hole means to you, Jackie's hole is, is part of that. So now let's get to my guest. Now, asking someone to be the inaugural guest on your show is quite an ask. And I'm very excited about who's here today. My guest, as uh, Pete mentioned, writer, comedian, host of a podcast called I Said No Gifts, which people are so rude, and they always bring a gift anyway. I hope he brought me a gift. His presence is the present. Please welcome Bridger Weiniger. Welcome to the whole, Bridger. Come on down. Jackie. Are you having fun? I, I'm i going to say right up top, yeah. an insecurity I have oh, no. is putting on headphones. Take them off! Put, no, putting them on in front of people. I never know left or right, oh. and I panic. Oh. I never know. The wh- cord can be like very confusing. Looking at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels like something everyone else does with ease. They're able to yes. just throw them on. Yes. I'm looking for the L, the R. Never find it. Yes. I'm, they might be on wrong. Right is now. there a wrong way to put on headphones? I put mine over a hat. I look ridiculous. <laughs> But I'm <laughs> sure of it. You probably didn't panic when you put them on. No! Nope. Bridger, I hate that the first second you enter the stage, you're put on edge by what's happening in Jackie's hole. I hate that. I'm kind of Can the we correct it? gazelle at the water hole. You are. And you're the, ty- the lion perhaps, striking. Perhaps I am. Or the hippopotamus. Those are very dangerous. They're the most dangerous animal, and they're vegetarian. Then why are they crushing people beneath their teeth? 
I think because they get mad. <laughs> <laughs> We've Just all wanted to crush somebody with our teeth, haven't we? At one point or another, Bridger. Oh, my God. I don't want to talk about anger, but... I'm happy to talk about anger. Bridger, I just want to say that Prospector Pete here is holding Jackie's Holes Bowl. (laughs) In this bowl are conversation topics. Oh, I'm thrilled. If we find ourselves kind of getting stale... And we will. Of course we will. (laughs) We hardly know each other. It's going to screech to a halt. The listener is going to freak out. Everyone's going to change the channel. Did you say screech? (laughs) (laughs) If at any point you want to reach into Jackie's Holes Bowl... We will have a topic that will be fresh. Oh, I can't. I'm going to, even if we don't yes. know, stumble into an I awkward feel like territory, we should at least we should get try one. It. Give it Dude, a shot. Should we do it now? Right now? I don't know. You're, uh, you, I want you to help oh, with this. Uh, let's, I was going to say something about anger. Let's talk about okay. anger. Okay. This is, I'm going to just say I'm a privileged asshole. Okay. Can I get some privileged asshole music? I'm a privileged asshole when I say this. Okay. Privileged asshole, privileged asshole. We've all been a privileged asshole. But I must say, I'm a privileged asshole. Last night, I got a massage. (laughs) I ordered one with the Soothe app. Have you ever used this, no. Bridger? Are you familiar? I have no idea. what the, Is it like a... It's sort of like an Uber, an Airbnb. You know, you let people, strangers drive you. You let strangers into your home. You let strangers massage you in the comfort of your own living room with the Soothe app. Is it strictly massage or is it just soothing things you can have done? Oh, that's interesting. You know, I don't know. That would be nice if you could have somebody comb your hair as you right. get out of the shower or things like that. Soothe, if you're listening, something to think about. But no, this was a massage, and my husband, second husband, and I decided to get massages last night. Right, right. And we were setting up, and um, I have a female massage therapist, and she's working on me, and then and Ben has his massage therapist, and they're working. And all of a sudden, they start talking about baseball. Mm. Loud. <laughs> we're in the same room. <laughs> oh, it's no. an open floor plan. It's a, I'm trying to relax. Oh, have you seen Shale Tani this year? The season's going, oh, no, no. And I'm like, I wanted to say, hey, could y'all shut up? I'm trying to relax, okay? I ordered the Soothe app so that I could be soothed, and baseball doesn't soothe me, Bridger. The last thing I want to hear during a massage is the human voice. Okay, so you agree. <laughs> not, a, not a peep. I agree. I almost would wish there was a way on Soothe that you could put what language you speak and then pick another person that doesn't speak your language so that you both can't say anything to each other. I mean, even on Uber at this point, you can say, I don't want them to talk to me. Yes. Why well, is this, this is, not part of the... But this is, this is because of ben, my, my husband. Like, I, I said to him this morning, why wouldn't y'all shut up about the baseball? And he mm. said, why didn't you tell me? I would have been quiet. Because then it would be tense. Well, I just thought, I want him to enjoy his experience. And he was having a great time. I could tell he doesn't get to talk about baseball very often. I'm <laughs> around him all the time, and I don't have anything to say about That's baseball. That's another app. An app for men who need to talk about baseball. Someone comes to your home and talks about baseball Soothe. with you. There's an option on there. Talk about baseball. I need someone to come over and talk talk to me. If <laughs> that's copyright, and I don't want that, that play. Uh, that's not copyright. That can't possibly be copyright. I don't know. That's, that's got to be in the public domain watch at this it. point. Don't you watch it. You know what is Steve in the public domain? Right. I'm copyright oh. material. There you go. You know what is in the public domain? What? I mean, Amazing out. Grace, because I sang, I, it, that. I sang it for my American Idol audition. <gasps> I didn't know you auditioned for American Idol. I did a long time ago. Uh, how was that experience? It's not pretty harsh. <laughs> yeah, they don't. You don't get in front of Simon that easy. Let's just say that you're in a, a stadium of people mm-hmm. and you sleep there for days, and then you get like a second in front of a producer, and they go next. Right. And that's it. Did you make it to? Because I waited with a friend who oh. made it to several <gasps> levels up, and then his voice cracked, and oh. they used him as one of the people in the commercial as like the, the what not to do. Before. Wow. Where was that? This was in Utah. We were outside the Delta Center. It's I've been the... there, too. I've been used as an example of what not to do. Yeah? Uh, <laughs> oh, how, how did your audition go, Pete? Uh, they, didn't, they didn't use me in the clip reel, even. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> well, at least y'all got on camera. I, I didn't even make it past any round. Just one producer. It was, it was, and I sang Foolish Games by Jewel. Oh. And 
I kill that song. Like, <laughs> I kill that song. And they weren't into it. Jackie, and when can we have copyrighted material so that we can hear you sing these renditions? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That depends on who buys Jackie's Hall, okay? Maybe if Spotify buys Jackie's Hall, they'll pay for Jewel. I don't know. They might pay Jewel money. They might. I would love to pay Jewel money. I love her. <laughs> I love her. I mean, you could. Uh, I feel like you could do like a Jewel adjacent song. I mean, like yes. you kind of create your own version I of could. foolish games. I could. I could. Uh, it could be called the mischievous. <laughs> What's the word for game? Yeah. What is it? silly playtime? A mischievous riddle. <laughs> These mischievous riddles that you've got. I don't know. There's something there. <laughs> You're right on to it. I know. <laughs> I told you. I told you, Bridger. It's red and white and red all over. Is that a riddle? You know what? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Print is dead, Pete. We all know it. That's why we're filming a podcast. <laughs> why are all podcast video now? They are because Does that this is you out? podcasts are going will soon be print. They're dying. Yes. Every form of media is dying. Yes. There's soon will be All we do is just claw and claw and figure out the next one and then we all get on it and make content and get likes and swipe. Click, 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 subscribe, click, swipe, review. Oh, close the app. Turn off the phone. Jump on the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> we do what we got to do. I don't recommend that last one. Okay, you know what? Please. Listen, I know pressure, Bridger, but I kind of want to get something out of the bowl. I'm going to go get something out of the bowl. Okay. Do you want to or should I? No, I want... Pete's going to do it. Oh, Pete and does And Pete's going to read so it. So I don't dive into no, it. No, 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 no. We leave it to you fate. You can if you want to. I don't know. I feel like the guests should do it, but okay. I, this is your no, show. No, wow. I, no, I want that for you. So I'll take it. Okay, we're going to take it. I just wanted him to read it in his announcer well, he voice. he read it. Okay, oh, but you're going to take it. Okay. Bridger's going to get yeah, one out of the ball. Okay. And I don't want to see what it is. Here. Oh, my. Okay, okay oh, read to read us read the topic. That, I'm so excited. The topic that you two will soon be discussing. Okay. Oh, my is God. Is Hometown Heroes. Oh. Hometown oh. Heroes. <laughs> okay, Bridger. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from South Jordan, Utah. Okay, South Jordan, Utah. South I'm going to be dead ass honest. I don't know a damn soul from there other than you. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. So tell me, what's going on there? Um, it's a very quiet suburb of Salt Lake City. Okay. Uh, I think formerly a mining town, actually, because okay. my high school was the Bingham Miners. Okay. They, uh, copper mining. Interesting. Oh. Feels kind of on theme for this podcast. It sure in does. Some way. Uh, but, uh, Do people mine in a giant, South Jordan? There's a giant copper mine that you can see as you, although I don't think it's actually in South Jordan. You can see it if you fly over. It's a massive hole in the ground. So when you fly home and the sun is hitting, can you like, is it blinding you with the <laughs> copper coloring? or is That it, would be incredible if yeah. it was just fully exposed copper. But yeah. it's just kind of, it's like steps down. It almost looks like a, an inverted py pyramid or something. Is there a pet store in South Jordan, Utah that only sells canaries? <laughs> <laughs> what a missed opportunity. Not a single pet store, as far as I can remember. Really? Do I need to move to South Jordan, Utah and open a canary store and find love in unexpected places? <laughs> what do you think? I think you absolutely should. I mean, it's a, I mean the, the market is there for you. I know, because they need the canaries to for go the to the coal mine, <laughs> everybody. I guess, I, I guess we just found the problem with it. It's a copper mine. Oh. Is there, has there ever been a canary in a copper mine? Wait a minute, mine? wait a minute. We need to figure out the bird for the copper mine. Right. What is the bird? What is the What is the bird, honey? Sparrow in a copper the mine. Mm, I don't know. I think more a little more exotic. Well, it's because you want to sell it as a pet, and they don't sell sparrows as pets. Is that the problem? No, I just think we should think of something a little more festive. What about um, like a like a parakeet? Macaw. A macaw in the copper mine. Oh shit. There's a macaw in the copper mine. Is it Kamaa? Kamaa macaw? Yeah. Is a macaw the red one, the green one? I believe they come in all colors. That can't possibly be true. Like Joseph's coat. <laughs> the Joseph macaws. And the Technicolor macaw. That's true. <laughs> that was actually the first draft. Wow. And then it just didn't really work out. Just a bird kind of flying around the theater. Yes. It was red and green and blue, and that's about it. 
Have you ever seen that show? <laughs> you just stepped into a rabbit hole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have I seen it? <laughs> Have I seen Joseph and the Amazing Tenant Color Dream Cup? I was in it, Bridget! You were in it? <laughs> Who were you? I mean, I don't know the show, but Super I'd love subject. to subject. <laughs> so, in my high school, South Garland High in Garland, Texas, we only did a musical one year, my senior year. It was my one moment. Let's not forget, American Idol rejected me. I'm vulnerable. <laughs> was this pre or post American Idol? This was right when American Idol was starting. Okay. I actually auditioned for American Idol the year after, but but don't ruin the timeline for the story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, Joseph Amazing Tango Dream Coat only has two female characters. Right. Potiphar's wife, okay. who has one line, and the narrator. Oh. Who narrates the entire show. Oh, interesting. Now, the narrator is a soprano. Mm. I am famously an alto. <laughs> Was it out of my range? Yes. <laughs> Did I audition anyway? Yes. Did I get the part? No, I didn't! You didn't get it! <laughs> they put me in the chorus! My senior year! The chorus! I had to learn every song! Every fucking word to every song! I know them all still! Will I say them no? Because... Copyright. I didn't get the part. (laughs) It'll get you every time. There's so many opportunities for songs, but we're waiting until the end. (laughs) (laughs) We're working on the format. Anyway, Bridger, (laughs) senior year, I was in the chorus. I got one line, solo line, and the line is, hey, dreamer, don't be so upset. Wasn't that beautiful? Are you allowed to say that on this podcast? You know what? We'll see. (laughs) If I get removed from YouTube... Sorry. But anyway, I did not get the part. I mean, we just have to comment on the line. Yes. It's a beautiful line. Yes. There we go. I Maybe I could... It's fine. I'm leaving it. Call me up. I Call think that me makes us fair use now. Call me up, okay? Wait, who wrote that show? Mm. Uh, Come on, and musical Andrew nerds. Lloyd Webber, Andrew, Andrew Lloyd Rice. Webber. Okay. Andrew Lloyd Webber, Andrew Lloyd Webber, Tim Rice. Andrew Lloyd Webber, go ahead and come after me. <laughs> Anyway, I didn't get the part, and it's a sore subject, oh, and you opened I'm that so up. I'm so sorry. A wound. Now, my rival high school did Into the Woods, which is my favorite musical, and I honestly thought about transferring just to audition, <laughs> but I didn't, Bridger. I mean, speaking of that, my boyfriend's currently performing in Sunday in the Park with George. <gasps> oh, so that's another uh, that's Sondheim right. piece. You are married to a Broadway. <laughs> Broadway. A Broadway yes. performer. I will tell you, the other night, while it was raining nonstop. yeah. yeah. Our house began to flood. Oh, yeah, same. We're I'm, in the same neighborhood, famously. Yes. Uh, I'm running from Home Depot to Home Depot yeah. to get sandbags. Wow. My boyfriend is on stage singing about how art is hard. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. A surreal experience yes. for me. My whole weekend was wet backing. Was that how yours was? We had... Uh, I called my father, who is like a dad's dad, mm-hmm. you know? And I was like, Dad, we don't know what the fuck we're doing. Help us be homeowners because the water was coming up, 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 up to our front door. And my dad's like, you got to get on some old snakes. You got to get in your in your swimsuit. You got to get out there and you got to save the house. You got to flow that water away. You got to flow that water away. And so my husband went out there to his credit with the old snakes and a shovel. I've never shovel? seen my I've never seen my husband hold a shovel. He ain't the shoveling type. He ain't the shoveling type, okay? <laughs> but he shoveled and shoveled, and he saved our house. What was he shoveling? Dirt? Yeah, we had to try to m- flow the water mm. away. And he had to tell it to move on. Be careful of where you're going. Move on. Look at what you did. Everything is wet. That's I not copyrighted, right? This is not original. That's the wrong lyrics. If it's the wrong lyrics, <laughs> this is an unsustainable here. podcast. I know. I'm really nervous. I'm getting a call as soon as this goes up. They have AI bots now that scan your uh, shit. Right. Like Instagram, I'll post something with 10 seconds of a yes. song. It'll say 50 countries can't play this yes. video. Yes. And I need all the countries to of see course. this. I need all the countries to see Jackie's hole. I want all the countries in my hole. <laughs> You know, I wonder how long the whole thing is going to get before it gets too much. I, I feel like you should just go for it. I think you have to just keep pushing and pushing okay. and pushing. You that no, was what I, my instinct as well as an be, artist. You can't be moderate on this at this point. You've picked the name of the show. Yes. People are 
signing up for something. Yes, I agree. I agree. Thank you, Bridger. And you, uh, there are so many uses of the word whole, as you demonstrated yes, at the top. Yes, there's so many uses of the word whole. What was the topic we picked out of the, the bowl? Hometown heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Is anybody not- notable from your hometown? I'm so mad I asked because there, <laughs> there are no notable people. Okay, none? What's on the Wikipedia page? I think I think that our we had somebody who was a playmate or something. Okay. I think that's kind of our like most a famous. playmate of the year or like a no, month. Oh, mm. kind of just like maybe not even of the month. Mm. She may have just been in Playboy or something. Okay. I remember in junior high that was like a hot. Topic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the other big thing I just recently learned there was a at my high school a funeral for a polygamous leader who was assassinated. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that's <laughs> that's a lot to unpack. Uh, too much. Too much for me to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna move on. We I'm gonna dive on. in. We have to dive in. <laughs> yeah. I, dive in, I don't want to get, dive in, dive in. get pulled off. I don't want to get pulled off YouTube. I don't know. <laughs> That's scary. Wait. Okay. Hold on. A funeral. Funeral. I guess he had a lot of wives, so there'd be a lot of people at the funeral. Right. So many children. Yes. So many wives. Yes. Uh, and then, you know, fans. Yes. You've got your fans. But somebody wasn't a fan of him. Yeah, at least one person. At least one. <laughs> Yikes. I'm going to clear the clear the plate here and tell you the most famous person from my hometown. And it's exciting. Who? I would sing to give you a clue, but again, <laughs> copyright. I'll just tell you, Leanne Rhymes. <gasps> oh, my God. That's Lee a huge one. Leanne Rhymes went to my elementary school. She was what? three grades ahead of me. Did you, like, know her in elementary school? Well, I wouldn't say we were friendly or anything, okay. but she was one grade above my sister. She <laughs> was in the choir with my sister, and they really nurtured her singing. They gave her all the solos. They had her in the talent show, and my dad was very into video camera culture. Mm-hmm. He was, like, the 80s dad with the camera, and he filmed my sister's whole recitals and concerts, and she got up to sing, and it was so bad that my dad turned it off. <laughs> what? So we have the opening <laughs> clip of her like starting to sing and she sings like one note and all of a sudden, <laughs> boom, the camera's off. <laughs> what was she dad, singing? Uh, what was she singing? I know she sang Rhythm Is Gonna Get Ya. Okay. Which, honey, I love me some Gloria Stefan, okay? <laughs> Talk about a resilient woman. One of our most resilient <laughs> Honestly, women. Honestly, you know, she's been through so much. She's been through it the all. The accident. What accident? Oh, you don't know about the accident? I don't know about the Gloria accident. Gloria Stefan was in a horrible bus accident. Bus? With her, with her band. Oh, well, I, I was do picturing we a public we bus. We sure do know. Yes. I almost had to bite my tongue not to sing coming yeah. out. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright. I could I could tear up some glory right now, but we're not going to. One, on, everybody. Two, three, oh. Stop. No counting. <laughs> no. Come on, baby. Oh. No. No. No, please. That's okay. another show, though. Do that. Let's go to karaoke. C O N G A. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Is it is it okay if we spell things out? Is that <laughs> gonna keep us from getting C O N G A? That's a song. That sure no. is. Oh. You know, I I think I see somebody coming. Oh. Um. Oh. I don't know. Like What's this? Jackie's hole is so large and massive, consuming. You never oh. know. Uh, I'm gonna oh. go sit for gold, and by oh. that I mean go pee. Okay. Uh, wait. Uh, uh, I think there's a I think there's a visitor to the hole, which is not uncommon considering this is where animals come to rest, eat, attack, etc. Hi, uh, who are Hello. you there? Hello, it's me, the safety gremlin. <laughs> the safety I'm here to talk gremlin. To you about safety. Well, hello. I had I had an orange vest to wear oh, as a safety gremlin yes, of would, course. and I left it. At home, oh, no. so in my a... little, in my hole, in my gremlin hole. So you're a forgetful safety I'm gremlin. I'm a forgetful safety gremlin. And the other thing I do want to start off with is, you're right. I do have headphones not covering my gremlin ears. I see that. And I do want to just say that I do have ears under here. Okay. Too. So I have, you have four double ears. Double ears. Okay. So I just wanted, because I know this is on camera. We welcome all types here. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I'm here to talk to you about safety. Okay. Uh, I got started in safety, the safety arts, and teaching safety okay. to children. Just and safety in general? Just or safety in or general. Or a particular type of safety, home safety. Safety, fire home safety is okay. a big one. Okay. There can be all sorts of different things that can go wrong in a home. Yes. Fire. Most accidents happen in the home. It's Almost true. all of them. Almost it's all true. of them do. You might
might not need me. It sounds like you already I know. I wonder if the I mean, polygamist was was uh, assassinated in his home. I wonder if Gloria's bus was in her home. Oh. I mean, <laughs> most accidents happen in the home. You know, it was a tour bus, so technically they were living on it. Oh, interesting. So that there might we go. count. There yeah. That might count. Some, some artists consider the road home. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. I yeah. would argue most mm -hmm. real artists. Yeah, so Ramblin. I'm, yes. Ramblin. Yeah. Yes. I've, Papa I've was a rolling road. stone. And you know, <laughs> careful. <laughs> you know where else a lot of accidents happen when they're not at home? Where? In the car. Yes. Oh. So you have to be careful yes. about that as I well. I agree. Yeah. I agree, safety ground. Oh, I, got... I was on the freeway earlier. <gasps> oh. Be careful. Had rain coming down nonstop. Yes. I switched it to highways off, got off, and my trip doubled in time. Yeah. Took me a good 45 minutes. But you today. know what? Slow and steady wins the race, Richard. Yeah. I'm here. You I'm made here. it. I have one a friend piece. who's a rabbit, and he tells me all the time, slow and steady wins the race. He is right. Yeah. The rabbit's telling you he this. He does. He has to fight his instincts. He, says. <laughs> he has okay. to fight his instincts. <laughs> okay. So I got started in safety because I lost... 900 of my geese friends, snow geese, in a in a terrible fire in a copper mine. Oh. And so that's kind of um, to tie in what you were talking yes. about earlier into, into my so past. I'm sorry. That's okay. It was a long time ago. Yeah. It was 1991. Oh, wow. Uh, but ever since then, I've been very, very, very safety conscious. If you don't mind me asking, what, what is the lifespan of a gremlin? A 91, I was a, a, a child, a little kid. Um, Being a gremlin is the exact same lifespan as humans. Okay. Yes, so it's exactly 40, the same. So 40 ish years? <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> I was I was seven or eight in yeah, that when okay. it first happened. Got it, got yes. it. Um, so I'm we age the same. Okay, great. Yeah. I think I was two. I think I was seven. Oh wow. Now six, five. Anyway. Anyway. What year were you born? 1984. Oh, same. Same. There you go. Yeah. Wow. Yep. So class of 2002. Oh, yeah. Calendar. Oh, no, I'm oh, three. Oh. Three, honey. oh I'm at the end. I'm at the oh, end. Oh, what you were born. This you is boring. Please move on. Okay. What? <laughs> Are we doing a safety quiz? Or we what? have a safety quiz. Okay. Oh, a quiz. Yes, okay. we have a safety oh quiz. I want to make sure that both of you know how important safety is. Yes, I believe. So I have a, okay. I have a safety quiz to go through. I want both of you to close your eyes. Okay. Uh, we'll start with Jackie. I'll okay. ask I'll ask you questions first, okay. but Bridger, you keep your eyes closed because okay. otherwise it's weird if you're looking at me. I can't look at you during right, this. Right, exactly. So, Jackie. Yes. Imagine your house is on fire. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Now answer some of these questions. First the rain, now this. Yes, yes. <laughs> Terrible timing. Oh. If only the rain would have happened after or during fire, the fire insurance. Don't get me started on that, Bridger. Oh, don't oh get me it's a separate on water policy. Insurance. It's a separate policy. Just don't even buy it. Oh. So, Jackie, your yes. house is on fire. Okay, okay, okay. Imagine your house is on okay, fire. Okay, okay. And answer these questions. Okay. Where's the fire? The kitchen. How big is the fire? <laughs> the whole stove. What color is the fire? Pink. How hot is the fire? <laughs> Real hot. Are there people in the fire? There's a <laughs> there's a sim. <laughs> Anybody that played The Sims originally, when they would accidentally get in a fire, they'd like flail around. Oh, yeah. oh, oh! there's like a there's a sim with a little little thing sim, over his head. Sim diamond. Yes, sim yes, a diamond. sim diamond. Yes. So you go outside and the okay. fire truck arrives. This is long. <laughs> How big is the fire truck? It, the standard size. <laughs> Um, I didn't. I was unaware they came in multiple sizes. Well, you know. You know. I, I think in the city they might have smaller ones. Okay. To maneuver the smaller. Fair suits. enough. Fair enough. How loud is the fire truck? Loud. Are there people? They disturb every time I'm anywhere and I hear one. Uh, you know. It's loud. Oh, okay. Now let's move away from the house fire for a moment. Okay. Now Bridger. Okay. Uh, you're God. at a lake. Oh, I love it. Are you in the lake? No. How big is the lake? It's a, a medium-sized lake. Are there other people at the lake? I'm all alone. What color is the lake? It's a, it's a crystal blue. What's the temperature of the lake? The lake itself is a cozy 75. Oh. Are there fish in the lake? No. Can I open my eyes? No. <laughs> I get uncomfortable with my eyes closed Sure. This much. Well, it is your hole. Okay. Bridger, you hear someone calling for help. Who's calling for help? It's my brother. Oh, Where's shit. Where's the call for help coming from? Miles away. Now imagine, this is for both of you, okay. imagine you're on a boat okay. and it's sinking. <laughs> okay. What kind of boat is it? Do we have to come up with it together? Yes. We have okay. to kind of compromise okay. it? Yeah. Um, like a oh. canoe? 
I love a, you know, I love a ski boat. Okay. Ski boat? I'm comfortable with that. What's a ski boat? You know, you'd water ski behind. Okay. Yeah, like a speed boat, speed I believe. Boat. A speed okay. boat. Okay. How big is the boat? Mm, I'll say 20 I foot. I know what a speed boat is. That's 20 like, foot. What color is the boat? Oh, it's like a, it's black with a yellow stripe. That's literally what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm not even Are joking because my dad has a speed boat and it's black with like an orange and a yellow stripe. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, this is really coming together. Oh it's my gosh. Gla I'm glad I'm asking these questions together now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what kind of body of water is the boat in? Lake, ocean, or other? Ooh, Jackie, how do you feel? A lake. I'm lake folk. Yeah, I like a fresh water situation okay do you want do you want to be on the boat or was it more of an obligation oh interesting i wanted to be on the boat i wanted to be on the boat yeah. now you get on the lifeboat because the boat's sinking so you okay. get on the lifeboat what color is the lifeboat Ooh. red aren't they a bright no, color like a red or yeah yeah it's a red boat okay how, how big is the lifeboat it's hmm. not, i mean it can't be that it big. can't be that big well you, enough room for us to Maybe it's a canoe. Okay, a life canoe. All right, that answers my next question. Are you <laughs> comfortable on the lifeboat? I mean, I wouldn't say it's the damn Ritz Carlton, but I'm okay. I'm fine as long as Jackie is paddling. Okay. Is there anyone else on the lifeboat? No, 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 no. it's just us. So there's it between the two of you. Do you think either of you deserve to be there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we've earned it. We have like survivor's guilt. No, I think we're cool. And what time is it on the lifeboat? On the lifeboat itself? Yes. We have a different schedule on the lifeboat. Maybe 4.30 lifeboat time. Oh, <laughs> interesting. All right, well, that concludes okay. the question portion. Great. I just need to calculate okay. and see how you guys did. Okay. How long um, will that take? Very quickly. Okay. Oh, oh no. Uh oh. You failed. What? <laughs> we both did? You, you okay, both start it over. Start it okay. over. <laughs> okay, so your Hold house on. is on fire. <laughs> okay, wait, so how did we fail? Can I open That's my just, eyes? You yes. can open your eyes. Oh, please. I could have told you that <laughs> wow. moments ago. I'm impressed. I, I got bored. I had to open them. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the microphone felt heavier while my eyes yes. were closed. Yes! It's because when you lose one sense, you gain another. Oh, so stronger. You were, so you were gaining, like, the sensory experience of the microphone was right. heightened, therefore <laughs> it was heavier. It felt so heavy. Did the music feel really loud yes. to you? Yes! <laughs> What about loud? I, yeah. I requested that because safety is important, and okay. I wanted the stakes. You wanted, I wanted okay. to add the stakes. Okay, got it, got that. it, got it. Now, yes. please explain to us, Why Safety Gremlin. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that's just that's the algorithm. That's the program. Oh. You just did, yeah. You know when you take one of those online quizzes and you just don't, you know, you take. Yes. I wanted. I took friends. I thought I'd be Chandler, and I was Joey. You can't really. Explain yes, exactly. Where yes. you went wrong. Yes. Or, or what? Just that's what the algorithm. <laughs> yes. That's what it says. You don't strike oh. me as a Joey. No. no I'm gonna be honest. No. I yeah, think yeah. I, I think it thought that I'm more loyal to my friends than I am interesting and that's why they said Joey for interesting. me interesting. Yes. yeah well I do apologize that neither of you seem to be very <laughs> safety conscientious I, I hope that I hope that no no safety issues befall oh, you no. uh, but I do have some advice before I go on okay. how you can do better at safety okay Maybe light a small contained fire and see oh, how you work. Oh, maybe, kind of field quizzes. Mm, maybe mm. cause a car accident and see how you work oh, your way no. out. Oh, no. No. Mm. Okay. Thank Logging you, Safety back. Gremlin. Of course. Oh, please God come bless. back to Jackie's Hole another time. Please, please be careful. Please let there be a hole still here. Oh, don't worry. We're safe in Jackie's Hole. Always. We should pull one more topic out of the ball. Okay. Don't you think? I think you should pull it this time. Okay. I, I didn't think that I was going to pull something out of you've got it you've got to pull it out of your hole uh, okay sometimes that's the best way that's the only way yeah you don't need to involve anyone else no 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 okay here we go i'm gonna pull something now i did write all these but i'm not looking okay i got one i, got I put one. hometown heroes back in just okay kidding. Just kidding. If, so if we get it back we'll have to go Are back we'll have to have that whole conversation again okay prospector pete what will bridger and i be discussing oh. for the end of the show the topic that has been sifted out of the gold pan of Jackie's Hobo is islands. 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 I love islands. You love islands? I love islands. Okay, tell me more. I mean, you're picturing immediately blue skies, yes. warm water, swaying palm but trees. But do you think there are islands out there who don't fit that description? Like perhaps um, a, a cold island. Cold island shrouded in fog mystery. Yes. What's an, wrong with that? An icy island. Oh, I, where an nothing icy lives. <laughs> no one inhabits. It's uninhabitable. But it's visitable. And it's an experience. Look at you. Making the 
making light of it. Have you? <laughs> what's the best island you've ever been to, Bridger? Um, I've been to uh, Borneo. Whoa. <laughs> okay, you know the only the only reason I know Borneo is because on the movie she's all that. Does she go to Borneo? She goes, you could go to Borneo and study squid fish. What? And, <laughs> and I literally did. I've never looked up Borneo. I don't know where it is. I only know it because of she's all that. Tell it's, me more about Borneo. Where it's, is uh, it? E- it's east of Malaysia. Okay. Part of it is uh, Malaysia. Part of it is, is it like boo something? Uh, I don't know what the other country we is. We don't judge because uh, I know you're from <laughs> South Jordan, Utah, and I can only imagine the geography programs there probably weren't great. Rough. <laughs> same I with mean, me. I mean, Texas school system, Utah school system yeah. are one and the same, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah. Just throw the children to the wolves. What brought you to Borneo, Bridger? Uh, because it's again, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty unfamiliar with their tourist situation. I was there as a Mormon missionary, so I had the worst possible experience. I was on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. No. Whoa. Whoa. But it wasn't the island's fault. No, of course not. It was not the island's fault. When you were in Borneo, what did you eat? Um, what did I, there's a, a food there called roti. Okay. It's like a fried flatbread. Yes. Unbelievably Excellent. delicious. Okay. Curries, fried rices, uh, Malaysian food, Chinese food. Uh, excellent yeah, food. Yeah, great I mean, food. I, I did eat bugs. Okay. I ate, uh, like pig head. Those were, you know, rougher dishes or things that I wasn't pig accustomed to. Pig head and bugs. Right. They're bad for my cholesterol, <laughs> but, uh. I mean, the bugs were fried, so cholesterol, mm. not a when cholesterol you say, friendly. When you say bugs, yes. do you know what kind of bugs? Like, kind of grasshoppery okay. bugs. What it, What was the taste like? What was the flavor profile? They were fried, so they were, uh, okay. they were crunchy yeah, and yeah. taste like uh, peanut oil. I believe that bugs are an underutilized world food source. Right, ants. And, and apparently, I just heard from Allie Ward, another podcaster out there, friend of mine, that cockroach milk... Okay. Is extremely nutrient dense, no. and that they're working on extracting it for <laughs> human consumption. How do you get the milk out without killing the bug? I mean, do we care? <laughs> and this is coming from someone who hasn't eaten meat in thirteen years. I mean, it's not that I, so much that I care that I feel like the the milk is going to end up with pieces of cockroach. Right, right, in it. right. Yeah, you're right. Because it's we're not getting to the udder. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know. You know, we should call Allie right now. I could speakerphone her and ask her. Are people drinking it currently? <laughs> I, I again, I don't know. This is the kind of hole that we go down on Jackie's Hall. Now, if I had we a computer have in front the of me, podcast with this topic. I know. Maybe it's in the bowl. It might be in the bowl. It might be. Maybe next time we'll discuss this. I'm trying to think of uh, uh, islands that I've been to. Yeah, where um, f- I've been to the Bahamas. Okay, it was lovely. Now, what did you do in the Bahamas? Were you just beaching? Were you... Beaching. I did the whole Atlantis Resort. Oh, incredible. Yes. The commercials. I did the Atlantis Resort, but then I also, we went down to um, where they did the Fire Fest, but this was years before the Fire okay. Fest. It was a beautiful little, um, they're called the Keys. Okay. The Ks, the Ks. Ks. There's different Ks. Um, uh, Nicholas Cage owned one, and it's covered in iguanas. Covered. Yep. Did you go to it? I did, and I have photos with me and all the iguanas. Did you get to touch them? Uh, well, I didn't want to disturb. And they kind of whip with their tails, right? They're kind of dangerous in that way. I, they're very fast. I used to have oh. a, a pet iguana, which is why I wanted to go and pay homage uh, to him. What was his name? It's a long story. His <laughs> name was Motsy, but my dad changed it to Jimmy because of Jim Morrison, oh, the Lizard King. Oh, right. But he was smuggled into America. In a wooden leg of one of my mom's friends. <laughs> 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 They're sold at pet stores. Why couldn't you just go to a pet store? <laughs> Listen, okay. <laughs> we, shit, it's different in Garland, okay? From what country was it smuggled? Mexico. Incredible. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. it was on purpose that it was in the wooden yes, leg. Yes, I believe so. And I don't know how he did it. This was like my mom's friend's grandpa. <laughs> wow. And then my parents got divorced, and my mom said, you know what? I'll take the kids. You take the iguana. <laughs> and was that when it was renamed? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep, my dad pushing 40 alone and uh, had an iguana in his house. Now, <laughs> listen, we got to do what we got to do. If your mom had let your dad take the kids, would he, have, would he have renamed all of you after the rest of the doors? You know what? I, I would, I'm curious about that. 
That's I guess we'll uh, never know. Timeline, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. It's a lot of paperwork to change a person's Ooh. name. You know? Probably twice as much as an iguana. I would I would think, right. yeah. Because Motsi, I refuse to call him Jim. Motsi didn't have a lot of paperwork, as far as I know. <laughs> right. um, How long did he live? He he lived a good, noble life. He lived a good, noble life. I yep. don't like that they're fast. Yeah, when you see one really go, it's intense. Yeah. Because it's sort of, I'll do, I'll demo for the people watching. Yes. <laughs> Flail. They flail all their arms. And they have that neck. Yeah, the neck. How is that moving while they're speeding along? And you know what else? We put him in the bath one time. Oh, I think one of my boobs just popped out somewhere. <laughs> this is why you have to watch the podcast I know. rather I'm than wearing a, a, a nursing bra. And uh, I just, the hinges on the sides can go out. Um, I'll write a letter to the company say, if somebody's acting like an iguana, your bra fails them. I'm going to write them right now after this. This was not cheap. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, we put him in the bathtub one time. To wash? We put him in the bathtub one time, and he... Like oh. a, and my sister and I were like, oh, shit, Ugh. what have we done? We forget that they're amphibians! Oh, God. They're amphibians. I also Wait, just want to say... they're not reptiles? Oh, are those not the same? <laughs> An amphibian is something that is both water and land. A reptile, oh. I believe, is okay. land only. Okay, but he does swim. So what so does that make him? Amphibian. He might be an amphibian. I can't wait to read the YouTube or, comments. Well, now <laughs> you I mean, idiots. I'm speaking. I'm I'm talking right yeah. now as though I'm an authority. Yes, that could be entirely false. What yes. I just said. Again, I'm gonna. I now know that somebody in Jackie's hole is gonna have to be the researcher. You've got to get a. Researcher. I'm gonna have to get like. Ricky the research raccoon that sits in the corner <laughs> and will come up with all the answers for us. <laughs> oh, Ricky, is that you? <laughs> Do you speak? <laughs> you know, Ricky would be great to massage me because he we don't he speak the same kind of language. In your ear the yeah, whole time. Oh, that's true. Relax, are you relaxed? <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye, Ricky. Bye. We'll talk later. We'll talk later. We'll talk later. Anyway, I just want to say real quick that all Nicholas Cage owns a K, but also Tim McGraw and Faith Hill own a K. Oh, power couple. Yes, <laughs> Richard, <laughs> I've had so much fun today. Oh, this is incredible. I, I really want to just jam right now. I want to have a little hoedown, and I want to celebrate everything we've been discussing today because there's so much. And I'm having a hard time even recalling what we should discuss in the song because it's just been, it's been so much. I, I, I want to talk about the copper mine, I think. The copper mine and the beautiful macaws. <laughs> we established that the macaws are going to be in they the copper the mine, right? They are the safety, a macaw and a copper mine. Yes. When it dies in the copper mine, you know the gas or whatever's happened. Okay, yeah. What happens in the copper mine? Fires. Fires. Huge explosive fires. Okay. Here we go. Like a macaw in a copper mine. Copper mine. Like a macaw in a copper mine. Oh, like a macaw in a copper mine. I'll be there to look out for fires. Oh. In a copper mine. In a copper mine. Like a macaw. In a copper mine. Hey, sing the copper mine. Like a macaw. In a copper mine. In a copper mine. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. If there's a fire. I'm gonna move to Utah and I'm gonna open my pet store. Open it right up. I'm gonna walk on in and I'm gonna say, huh, it needs a little coat of paint, but I'll take it. She's a small business gonna, owner. I'm a lady owned business. She's I'm, lady gonna, owned business. I'm gonna open up an Instagram account and in goes the customers, baby. And I'm gonna source my macaws sustainably. Okay, don't you worry. Them. Oh no, I'm gonna let them breed on their own when they want to. It's gonna be very ethical. And I'm gonna fill the shelves with macaws of all the colors. They'll be red and orange and blue and green and purple and orange and ochre and ash and black and white and pink and fuchsia and chartreuse. <laughs> Which fun fact, chartreuse is a green of a type. A green, I always think it's a 
red. I always think it's a red too, but it's not. Like a macaw in a cupboard. Like a macaw in a cupboard. Like a macaw in a cupboard. In a cupboard. I'll be your friend. If there's a fire. Oh, I wish. On the copper mine. I think uh, the polygamist probably could have oh, used a couple. Oh, like a macaw in an assassination attempt. Yes. To have that fly between you and the bullet. They're very smart animals. They're very smart. They're they live very, very long. Smart. They so have the long loyalty, life. you have to imagine they become loyal. Oh. And smart and trained. Maybe a celebrity could buy a K and make it full of macaws. Oh, and training grounds. Yes. To save people from all sorts of explosions and assassinations. If there was a celebrity out there, who would be the one to own the Macaw Island? Barbara Streisand. <laughs> Barbara Streisand, of course. You know, she, uh, she cloned her dog. She cloned her dog. She, she has a ball in her basement. Okay, there we go. I rest like my case. Like a macaw. macaw in a copper mine. In a copper mine. Like a First episode of a podcast. Wow. I can't believe you decided to go with the Jewel song. Yeah, always. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know, almost verbatim a song from her first album <laughs> that she recorded in a coffee shop in San Diego where wow. she was living out of her car. Out of her car. Wow. We all know the story. We She's, do. She beats that drum like crazy. I don't know that it's true. I think it is. It's an origin story. And you know what? Everyone has one. You got to have one. Our uh, our piano player, I'm sorry, our stand-up bass player here from Catalina Island, That's right. born wow. and raised. I just want to step in here really quickly. Yeah. I also lived in San Diego during my high school years, and I frequented that coffee shop, <sighs> and I s- asked them about it. Yeah. Said it's bullshit. Oh! What? Oh, Podcast shit. Podcast exclusive. The, wow. the truths are coming out of Jackie's hole. <laughs> the truths. At last. Well, wow. we've really covered a lot of ground, Richard. And we've exposed Jewel finally. We've, finally, we've taken her down. Jewel, and, Jewel, Jewel. And I feel good about it. I feel incredible. I feel great about it. So, thank you for being here, thank Richard. You for having Did me. you have fun in Jackie's Hole? Incredible time. Are you going to come back to Jackie's Hole? I better home? come back. Or are I'm you going to freak out? Are you going to frequent Jackie's Hole? If I don't, I'm going to freak okay, out. Okay, you're welcome at all times at Jackie's Hole. I'm going to take home. singing lessons. Okay. And so, next time and I come, come back. I'm going to have the voice of an angel. Black <laughs> Yes, exactly. Exactly, Pete. Yeah, Just I'm like training. yours. <laughs> Very high. Thank you to Pete. Thank you to the Safety Gremlin. Thank you to the Holigans. We have Marnina, Tony, and Zach here. And thank you to you, watchers and listeners. Thank you for coming out to Jackie's Hole. I'm Jackie J. And I'll see you next time in Jackie's Hole. Oh, yeah. Jackie's hole. Jackie's hole. Oh, we're always in Jackie's we're hole. In Jackie's and we're leaving hole. Jackie's hole. Hey, Jackie's hole. It's hole. always here in Jackie's hole. Always You're always Jackie's welcome hole. in Jackie's hole. Come back next time. Jackie's hole. Jackie's hole. Oh, we're in Jackie's hole. Jackie's we just hole. keep on going. I got the studio for an hour. Okay? Keep it going. Keep it going.
it going. We'll see y'all next time. Oh, comment below if you want me to add your topic to the whole bowl. Ooh, that's yes. a good one. Yeah, we, we are all about the interaction. Okay, we need the comments. We need the likes. We need the subscriptions, okay? That's what art is now. That's what art is now. We need you as much as I, you need me. Interact with the podcast. Interact, goddammit. I have a mortgage.